Hello everyone, this is Mike. Welcome to my channel, Mike the Tech Savvy. Finally, the first optimized Lineage OS 15 build for the Samsung Galaxy S4 has been released. This is an alpha build, so there are some things that do not work 100%, but in my view, it looks very good for a first release. I will get into the details right away, but first I'll have to show you how to install it. It's a really simple procedure. As a prerequisite, you need to have the TWRP recovery installed and you need to boot in it. So volume up, home key and power. This optimized Lineage OS 15 build should work on any Snapdragon 600 variant of the Samsung Galaxy S4. I will write all the variants in the description. So right now you have to have some files downloaded. Here they are. So this is the actual build, the optimized Lineage OS 15 Alpha. You also need an OpenGFs package that you can download yourselves from a web page that I listed in the description below. Select ARM and Android 8.0. Afterwards, you can choose whatever package suits you. Most of the times I go for the Pico package because it's lighter and it allows me to customize the device the way I want to. You will need a special kernel. And if you want root access, I've already checked the latest Super SU and it works perfectly. Also, you will need the special Android Oreo recovery. All these will be listed in the description below. So the first step after booting into TWRP is to go to install, install image and install the custom recovery. Afterwards restart the device like here and reboot into recovery. Now the device should boot up in the newly flashed Android Oreo compatible TWRP. Afterwards go to wipe Select Advanced Wipe and here you can mark Dolvik, System, Data and Cache and swipe to wipe. Then go to Install, select the optimized Lineage OS Alpha build and swipe to confirm flash. Afterwards flash the OpenGApps package. You're ready to flash the kernel via exactly the same method and only as a last step, if you want super user access, you can flash the super su zip file as well. I recommend you to wipe cache and Dolphic after doing the installation process in order to avoid boot loops and you're ready to go by rebooting into system. This is the ROM. It's extremely fluid. The camera is not functional in this alpha build. So this is one of the main things that may keep you away at this point. I've also installed some benchmarking software so I can give you an idea of the performance of the device. This is the score that I've obtained in Antutu and in Geekbench. These are the scores, pretty normal for this device. Nothing out of the ordinary here and for compute as well. With this ROM, you will get the latest November 2017 security patches. Here you go. November 5th, 2017. I'm very confident that the ROM will develop really nice and will have a fairly stable build probably by the end of the year. I'm not really sure, but I have a lot of confidence in the developers of this ROM. They did a fantastic job with the Lineage OS 14.1. So I've opened this tweaks. I've allowed super user access and here you can alter whatever settings you want. So you can underclock, overclock and so forth. Please do research before making changes here. Substratum is not working as of now, but this is not such of a big deal. Other than that, we have a fully functional 
ROM. You can switch between apps. Sorry for this. The alarm was fine as well. It's really, really good given its state of development. So if you can live without the camera up until the following builds, which will probably fix it, you should be good to go. Looks like the flashlight doesn't work either. It's probably connected to the camera in some way. So internet works. Calls do work. Of course, audio and video reproduction do work as well. This is a really, really nice ROM and I totally recommend it if the camera is not that important for you and if you want to try the latest and greatest for your Samsung Galaxy S4. Kudos to the developers, they did a great job and I'm really looking forward to the next optimized Lineage OS 15 build. This ROM should work on all Snapdragon 600 variants of the Samsung Galaxy S4. I will list all the compatible versions in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do press the like button. If you'd like to see more similar videos in the future, also make sure to press the subscribe button, which will be displayed right here in the bottom left part. Feel free to share your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. This was Mike the Tech Savvy. I wish you a great day. Bye.